Hello and welcome to today's MyMiniMaths.co.uk video tutorial. And today we're going to be looking at the Arithmetic 16 practice question 34, which is calculating a fraction of a whole number. So if we look at question 34a to begin with, which is 1 quarter times 120. Don't forget this times here, multiply, is exactly the same as saying of a quarter of 120. So if we take 120 and we divide that into four equal parts, so each of these are worth one quarter, so that's four quarters for all of it, and then we divide the 120 by four, which gives us 30 for each of those quarters. Therefore, one quarter of, or multiplied by 120, gives us a final answer of 30. Next we're on to question 34b, which is calculating one seventh times, or of, 560. So again, if we take the full 560 as a box, and then we divide it into seven equal parts. That's three, four, five, six, seven. Each of these boxes is worth one seventh, it's one out of seven. So if we take 560, divide that by seven, it gives us 80 for each of these sevenths. So the final answer, one seventh of 560 equals 80. And next is question 34c which is two-fifths of 180. And don't forget, this is the same as saying multiply. So if we take our box again, which represents the full 180, and we divide that into five equal parts. So 180 divided by five gives, you, gives us 36. So there's 36 in each of these parts which is one fifth each and then if we take two of them that's 36 add 36 to give us a final total of 72 and finally on to question 34d which is going to be calculating three tenths of 90 or multiply by 90 so if we take our box to represent 90, and then we break that up into 10 equal parts, each of these parts is worth one tenth. So we know that 90 divided by 10 gives us nine. So each of these are worth nine. So if I need three of these tenths, I know that these three tenths here have a total of 27. Thank you very much for watching today and I look forward to speaking to you again tomorrow. Take care then, bye.